Let's get a sound check. Q Town. Okay, here we go. Mike's up again, just like him. Went right back to him. Good second last time. I thought he raced really good. He is up. This is no more than a 7,000, but it's, it's, it's kind of a bunch of horses that it's wide open. Anybody could win. Short field. Last week, I, I think I was just too close to the pace. Luke Hanners had buzz like Nicolas Cage gone in 60 seconds, and he was actually gone in 55 seconds, which for a non winners of 4,000 is crazy. And I happened to be sitting third. It just kind of tired the whole field out and got picked off. Andy Miller's horse was flying late. He's also mic'd, goes down smooth. We're in the post parade, making sure all the equipment's right. Hobbles are a little tight, but the main thing is to keep him trotting. I'm gonna turn him around here and take a little score, see how he acts in the turn. That's where he usually has most of his trouble. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of speed in here. I might have to call an audible and go forward, I don't know. Doesn't seem too bad. He's getting a little grabby, so I gotta try to keep him quiet. It's my old buddy, Todd McCarthy, jogging by. I I promised him I wouldn't say anything about his boxing gloves this week. He does have them on. I feel bad, poor McCarthy. He's been taking some hits on these things every week. Shades informed me that all trash talk will be edited out of this video from now on. Hi. Because there'll be no more talk from you and Yannick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, Toddy's horse looks super rammed up. Huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. These videos are, uh, I don't know, starting to feel like uh, Super Dave Osborne when I do these. I always got a good plan, but it never works out. I had a problem. I had a problem. Uh, this is not an excuse. I don't make, Super Dave doesn't make excuses. Ooh, buddy. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Let's do it. Three horses pacing, the five horses pacing. Now you just switch to the trot. Corey's is pacing. <laughs> it's a trot race, Corey. I know that. <laughs> oh. Put him right in the Hall of Fame. He switched him onto the trot. How about that? Right to the Hall of Fame. A little bumpy. And they're off and trotting. Chip Plosives out fast with move out of my way. K and just like him on the outside, goes three across the track with Storm on Ventnor on the inside. He's getting away bad, but he can trot home pretty good. Followed by Bean Town Madness and Come on, boy. It's the trailer. It's move out of my way. Just like him and Mark McDonald to take over now. So the Chip Plosive is back to third on the inside. Storm on Ventnor is fourth. 28 and 2 was the first quarter. Yeah, 28 and 2 are walking. But we'll see. I got Yannick on my back. Still, I mean, that's, we're getting it soft. Just like him and Mark McDonald at 7 to 2 here. Just like him tracking second. Pretty shaky right now. Trying to get him in the race a little. Rocco Patrick is fifth. Then Bean Town Madison goes down smooth. Underway from last. I'm gonna just slow it down, too. Let him come get me. Just like him. Just like him is trying to steal away here. Move out of my way, K on the inside, second. Here comes Storm on Fentnor, first over. And it's bumping my helmet. He feels good. So is Bean Town Madness at the rear of the field. And goes down smooth, has to pass them all under some urging. Just like him at three quarters. Storm on Ventnor on the outside comes to him. 126 yeah. and three. Yeah. And, yeah. Drive. and here comes Storm on yeah. Ventnor. Yeah. To take the lead with Todd yeah. yeah. Fighting back though is just like him after the soft half. Yeah. Bean Tout Madness is raging on the rail off the face. You're not gonna get anything here. And closing chip close up to the wire. Storm on Ventnor. Bean Tout Madness. Super cheap fractions. Just I don't know. How'd you do, Mark? Ah, no good, Andy. <laughs> I did worse. <laughs>